From past few lectures, we have understood how to perform Ajax call and also we have seen what is the problem with Ajax call. If we do multiple Ajax request, then whatever result we are getting, it is not a guarantee that result will be displayed in same order. Here, I have called India first, but in my result, India is displayed at third position. So as soon as I keep refreshing, the position will be getting changed because each and every time this call will be happened and it is not a guarantee which data will be coming first. So this was the problem we have seen while doing multiple Ajax request. So meantime, we have already seen what is callback help by looking at this simple example to order food from restaurant. If you have not watched how to perform Ajax call, what is the problem with Ajax and also this callback help, I suggest you to watch those videos before continuing with this lecture. Now in this lecture, we are going to see one more practical concept related to callback help. Then from next lecture, we are going to see solution to solve callback help. So now here, what I want, if I call India first, then India data has to be displayed first. And based on that India data, I just want to fetch some other data and I want to display that data. Okay, let me show you. I will just come to problem Ajax. Now here, inside this console, we have data for India. We have data for United States and we have data for Germany. And inside this, we are having multiple properties. Now, if you just come down, we will be having one property for borders. See here, we have this property borders. And for this property, we are having all this value. We have Bangladesh, we have Bhutan, we have Myanmar, we have China, Nepal and Pakistan. Now, what I want, once my India data is displayed, only after that, I have to call the second request and I have to display one of the border for India. Similarly, for United States also, we are having borders property. And for Germany also, we are having borders property. So the main thing, what we will understand, without performing the first request, we cannot perform second request. So this is the concept we are going to understand. And this concept leads to callback help. As soon as we write the code, you will understand callback help because in our last lecture, we have completely understood about that concept. So now, in practical real-time example, we will be applying callback help. Close it. I will create one file. I will write callback underscore help2.js and inside index.html, I am just going to link that. I will comment. Callback help2.js. And from problem ajax.js, I will copy entire code. And inside this, I am just going to paste. Okay, it is very important. Before proceeding with further, you should understand how to perform this Ajax request and also understanding of callback help. Now here I will remove, I will just write get country borders. You can give any function name and entire thing will be same. Okay, here we are just adding event listener. Let me just remove this response. Here let me just keep this data. Then using this data, we were able to get all the result which I have shown you. Then below that, we are having this HTML. And after that, we are just appending this card inside our HTML. I will call this function, copy, paste, save. Now I got the result. Now what I want, if my first request is executed, only after that, my second request has to be called. So below this, after appending the first card, below this, I will write here const, I will write neighbor. Then 
neighbor data is equal to my neighbor is present inside this object dot my property name is borders and I just want to access the first border. Save it. Now below this, let me just show you what we got using neighbor data. Save and I will just come in these two lines. I will open inspect and inside this you can see first border that is I got Bangladesh for India. So now this second request is dependent on first request. If first request is not happening, then we cannot proceed with second request. Now same thing, I will come on top. I will just copy this entire thing and below this I am just going to paste. And here I will be writing request. You can give any name. You can also change it to request 1, request 2. Accordingly, you can give the names. Then here request dot open. Then here request dot send. Now in place of this country, I have to display this neighbor data. But here we have already seen using this link, we can get country data. Now using border code, I want to get the data. So I will be coming to that website. So in my browser, I will search public APIs. I will open this. And here I am just going to search for REST API or you can search for REST countries. Click on this and here below this you can see we have one section for code. I am just going to copy this link. I will copy. In place of this I am just going to paste that link and here in place of code simply I am just going to copy this variable and here I will be pasting that variable and here I will simply give dollar. Okay, using this now successfully I am able to get the data using this code. So the code what I got is Bangladesh. So once my India request is fetched, only after that my Bangladesh data has to be displayed. Now again I have to perform the same thing. I will just copy this entire thing copy and below this I am just going to paste and I will be closing my add event listener. Do not get confused. If you have watched previous lecture then it will be very easy for you to understand. We are performing first Ajax call and here we are just displaying the data using that Ajax call and we are appending that data. And based on that request, we are getting first neighbor data. Then again, we are performing second Ajax call to display that data based on code. Then again, you can see inside this, inside event listener, we have added one more event listener. And here simply, I'm just going to write request. Now I will save it. Now you can see after some time Bangladesh data has arrived and we are able to display Bangladesh data. Now if I open here I am having Bangladesh data and here I am having India data. Now it doesn't matter how many times if I refresh first India data will be displayed then I will be having this Bangladesh data. So without India data I will not be able to fetch this Bangladesh data. Now inside this Bangladesh also we are having borders property. You can see we are having borders property. Now if I do, now if I just want to display Bangladesh border again, we have to do third request and inside this event listener, we will be adding another event listener. I will open this. Now you can see this is the first call. This is the first event listener. Now you can see this is our first request. And inside this callback function, we have added another callback function. So only if it is performed, later on we can proceed with this callback function. So before this first function, we cannot proceed with second function. Now here you can see this entire thing, this entire thing is same. So what we can do, simply we can create one function for this. I will copy this entire thing. I will come on top 
and here I will be writing function HTML data and inside this I will just paste that entire thing and here I am just going to pass this parameter copy and paste. I will copy HTML data and from here I am just going to remove this entire thing. Simply I will call this function and inside this I am just going to give data. Same thing I will copy this function and from here I am just going to remove this entire thing. I will just paste that function. Save it. Now you can see again successfully we are able to get the result. I will refresh. You can see no matter how many times I refresh I am able to display India data and only after that I am able to display Bangladesh data. Now here if I just write here USA I will comment this and comment. Now here I am having United States data okay. Till now we have not received borders data it is getting fetched. Let us refresh and wait. Now you can see we got border of United States that is Canada. So in same way you can call any country and based on that country we can display the borders. So first without getting country data we cannot display border of that country. So this is the practical example of callback help. Now if I want to find border of this country whatever neighbor country we got. So if we want to find border of this country again we have to perform Ajax call and inside that again we have to add another event listener. So it keeps on going. So in JavaScript we are having more easy and modern way of performing this operation. So from next lecture we are going to understand and we are going to start with promises.